Hey guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all doing great. Today's video is going to be a cleaning video. These are five things that you can do every day to keep your house clean and tidy. After a long weekend, my house can look super crazy and I'm going to show you guys what I do to take it from messy to clean, super quick, super easy, and of course it's on a budget. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you go. Alright guys, let's get started. So one thing that I like to do every day is to go through my house and put away mess in the hot spot areas. Because I live in a tiny apartment, my entire living area is like a hot spot. I have to go through and pick up toys off of the floor and clear all of the surfaces. It could be your kitchen counter, it could be your coffee table, but you want to go through that area and put everything back where it belongs. Don't let it pile up because it's going to make it twice as hard for you to clean. I found that once I let it go for one day, the next day it is super hard. Especially after a long weekend with kids and my husband, I really have to do this because everything is just everywhere. I like to go and give it one good clean sweep, I put everything back where it belongs, clear off all of the surfaces, and then the next day and then the day after that all I have to do is just wipe down that surface, I don't have to worry about putting stuff away. So this cubby is a hot spot area in my house, my husband likes to put his stuff on there, my kids keep their toys, so if I don't keep up with this area it can look really cluttered and messy, but when I do all I have to do is just go through with an antibacterial wipe wipe it down especially with those little fingerprints i really need to wipe it down often because my boys can get it messy but if i do this every day i can stay on top of it and it makes less work for me when i'm doing my deep cleaning so the second thing that we do every day is clean the floors we go through and sweep the main living area, the kitchen, the dining room, the living room, especially like this little carpet area. Because we had hard woods for so long, we don't have a vacuum, so we go through and sweep it. There are so many crumbs that are in there from the kids. If you guys have pets, I suggest you vacuum every day. This helps to keep it up so that it doesn't look crusty and dusty. I'm telling you, if I didn't sweep for one day, that carpet would look so disgusting. So I go through and I give it a good sweep and it gets all of the dust and dirt and all of the little debris that is in the carpet. If you guys watched my other cleaning videos, I mentioned that I cleaned my floors on my hands and knees. Well, not anymore, honey. Your girl got a mop, and I am so excited to tell you guys all about it. So the mop that I've been using is from Homevative. It's their microfiber spray mop. It's available at Walmart or on Amazon, so it's really affordable. It's eco-friendly and it's budget-friendly. So if you guys are anything like me and you hate to buy those Swiffer refills, I feel like it's a rip-off. You have to spend so much money just to clean your floors. That's why I did it on my hands and knees for so long. So inside the box, it comes with the mop. It comes with three of the reusable pads. It comes with two of the bottles where you put your own floor cleaner so you can use one and you have an extra spare one it was all super easy to put together if i can put it together you can put it together and i didn't even read the directions you just put all of the pieces into each other and you're good to go So I really like that you can control the wetness of the mop, like you're not just walking around with a soppy wet mop. By spraying a lot, you can have a really wet floor, it just really depends. The bottom of each cloth is Velcro, so it sticks right onto the bottom of the mop. I didn't think it was going to be Velcro and how well it like stuck, but it stuck really good to the bottom. So you don't have to worry about it falling off and being annoying. Once it was on there, it was on there for good. Filling up your bottles was super easy, you just take it off. I used a little of panella and a little bit of vinegar and water and a little bit of soap, put the lid on, popped it right in, and I was ready to clean my floors. So I was really questioning how the spray would be. I thought it was going to be wonky, but it was a really nice even spray. The best thing I think is how well this mop maneuvers. It's on a little bendy bit so you can get behind things really well. You can get under the table. It's not stiff, so it moves around really, really nicely. If you guys are on a budget and you're 
breaking your back like I did on your hands and knees, definitely check out this mop. It's something that can save you time and money. I'm all about things that are reusable, refillable. I don't want to have to buy somebody's solution or buy their pads. I want to do it on my own terms and this mop allows you to do that. I am so sorry if this is gross, but I wanted to show you guys the dirty pad, how it looks after it's cleaned my floors. It has dirt, it has hair, it has bits, but it comes with a scraper so that you can scrape all of that stuff off before you put the pad into the wash machine. Machine. it has one side which is like a comb and one side which is like a brush it's like brushing your hair before you wash it before you put this into the wash machine give it a good brush so that you're not washing it with all of that dirt and debris this little scraper sticks right onto the mop so that you don't have to worry about losing it when you go to wash it you can't find it just pop it right onto your mop and you're good to go I love the fact that you can use your own Dollar Tree cleaning supplies. You can use your own solutions. You don't have to spend a ton of money on the cleaning solutions. I want you guys to check out this mop. The link will be in the description box down below. So the third thing that I do is load and unload my dishwasher. When I go to bed at night, I run my dishwasher. I don't let dishes sit overnight. I used to do that for a really long time and it was a terrible habit. It was really gross and it would gross me out in the next day having to go and clean those dirty dishes. So I don't care how tired I am or my husband, mostly he does them at night, but if he doesn't do them, I will do them. But every single night we run our dishwasher and every single morning I unload the dishwasher. It is a great way to start the day and if you guys aren't doing that you should start so another thing that we do is one load of laundry every single day some days I have to do more but I try to always start one load of laundry every single day preferably in the morning so that I can put it in in the afternoon and they're dry by the evening I do not always get around to folding my laundry if you come to my house you may see laundry on the couch but I try to keep the clothes washed so that we're not trying to find like dirty socks and things like that So the fourth thing that I think is really good to do every day is to shine your sink. If you guys follow Fly Lady, she uses this term to make sure that your sink is clear of clutter and it's like shiny. You actually shine it. So what I do is if there's dishes, I go through and I clean those dishes. I put them in the dishwasher and then I use a sponge and some soap and I really just give my sink a good scrub. When my sink is clean and shiny, it makes me not want to leave stuff in there. It makes me want to keep up with it. It helps the kitchen not look as dirty and messy. So every day I shine my sink and I would highly suggest you guys try it if you haven't. It really can help you start off your day and end your day on a really good note. So the fifth thing that I do every day is take out the trash. Even when I don't feel like going outside and it's freezing cold, I just take it out. Sometimes if I have time, I'm going to clean the inside of the trash can. So I use soapy water, really hot water, just to clean all of those germs in there. And I also wipe down the outside um, of the lid and the can. Just because I have kids, they're touching it. My husband's touching it. I don't want anybody to get sick. But every day, you should be cleaning that trash can and especially taking out the trash. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If this video inspired you at all, leave me a comment and let me know what you're going to be trying. Also, what do you do in your house every day to keep it clean and tidy? Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm going to have a link to the Homevative mop that I mentioned. Check them out. Thank you to them for sponsoring this video, and I will see you guys next time for another video. Bye, guys.